Okay, hello guys. So this is the Galaxy A03, and in this video I will show you how to read this phone using the latest firmware. Okay, this is using a Unisoc processor, and all the instruction and files I will provide in my blog. The link is in the description box. Okay, so make sure you have follow all the instruction so you will not get any problem okay so stay tuned and check it out okay hello guys assalamualaikum with again with Tom Bob okay this time we have the Galaxy A03 this is a new phone if I'm not mistaken, it's just about one or three months in the market. Okay, so in this video, we will try to uh, root this pawn. Okay, first thing we need to do is go to the settings and let's check the stock from where. Okay, about pawn, you can see right here <clears throat> it is the Galaxy A03. And it is using the Android 11 One UI Core 3.1 Okay The first thing we want to do is We want to enable the developer options Okay, so hit the build number 5 times Then go back Back again Find the developer option right here And make sure you have Turn on the YM Unlock Okay We need to enable this one to unlock the bootloader okay go back <coughs> and let's check again the software version <coughs> you can see right here we are using the binary one okay a v yeah, sorry this one a 0 3 f x x u 1 a f5 okay <clears throat> so we need the stock from where for this spawn okay okay let's put down the pawn and let's uh, switch the screen okay for the next steps in here i have uh the file manager this one is the mages and this one is the stock from where okay like I showed you before, this is the same stockware that we have in our pond. Okay, XXU1, AVF5. Okay, maybe some of you guys will have a question where can I get the firmware? You can always go to the same firmware mobile. Okay, just open your browser and find the same mobile firmware okay so mobile.com slash firmware okay from here find your firmware version okay we are using the a03f okay let's copy and paste it in here i can select the model <clears throat> and then the country i'm using the indonesian model it's id and just hit check update in here you will find the software version okay so we're using the one a b f5 so we're going to use this one okay this is the same all the firmware for this one is still in binary one okay so you need to download this one and you, if you have different firmware just download the latest one okay uh okay and then <clears throat> after you download uh, but before you download you need to register to this uh, website okay is it it is free so don't worry okay just download and we'll have a file like this one okay and after that <clears throat> you need to extract all the file to a folder okay so I have extract file in here. Okay, you can use the 7-zip, WinRAR, or WinZip. 
and you will <coughs> see five files and files that we need is the ap okay this file <coughs> and the next step you need to extract the boot image okay okay if you know this this is the unisoc cpu and it's different from other samsung firmware because usually samsung firmware using the lg4 extension but this is just user raw image okay, just extract the boot image <coughs> okay then we need to copy the boot image and the magis apk on our internal phone storage Okay, let's copy the file. Let's copy this one and <clears throat> put it in here. In document. Okay. <clears throat> then let's copy the Magis APK. Okay. <clears throat> the link for the Magis I will provide in my blog. Okay. Done. Now let's switch the screen. And for the next step, we need to install the Magis APK. So find your file manager in the pond. Okay, go to the internal uh, storage and find where you have copied the file. Okay, let's copy this one. Settings, give it the permission, go back and install. <clears throat> yeah, and then just open it. Just go to the install button right here select and patch file and find where you have the boot image okay let's, let's go to the internal storage document and this is our boot image okay just hit let go it will patch the boot image okay done uh the patch boot image will be located on the download folder okay so let's switch again the screen and next <clears throat> we need to copy the patch boot image into our computer okay let's go to the download folder and this is the file okay just copy the file and put it in here <clears throat> okay and then okay this is the original i will move the original to a folder okay and then let's <coughs> rename the let's put image just using the boot dot image okay <coughs> next step open 7-zip okay copy where you have the pad and then let's compress the file using the tar extension okay right click 7-zip and <clears throat> add to archive just select the tar okay this one okay and then now we have a uh, modify boot image in the tar format <clears throat> okay it's done for now and okay we have in here so the next step is we need to uh unlock bootloader the pawn okay okay and now let's turn off the pawn because we want to unlock bootloader the pawn okay <clears throat> after the pawn has been turned off we need to go to the download mode option by pressing volume up, volume down, and then press, eh, sorry, press the volume up, volume down, and then plug the USB cable. Okay, and then you will see the screen, warning screen, <clears throat> and it has information. Okay, so it said that if you want to unlock the pawn, 
volume up long press okay let's press volume up about five to seven seconds and then there is another warning it will ask us to unlock the bottle there. okay we just need to press the volume up once okay then it will restart the pond <clears throat> and start to format the data okay now we will see a warning like this uh, that is expected because we have unlocked bootloader or pawn okay <clears throat> so let's wait until the pawn is formatting the internal storage and after it reboots we need to go to the download mode again okay it's done let's press the form up form down again and in here now we need to press the volume up once okay just one seconds and here we go now we are in the download mode and for the next step we need to flash the boot dot tar okay so let's open the Odin right here copy the path where you have the file okay go to the option tab right here and check the auto reboot and then hit the epi button okay paste where you have the pad and this is our file okay just select the file and hit start okay done and it's always a good idea to format the data after you flash the modify boot image okay so let's force reboot the pawn and go to the recovery mode okay now let's unplug the cable and we need to go to the we need to force reboot the pawn okay so press the volume down and the power button and when the pawn rebooted quickly switch to the volume up while still pressing the power button okay let's try it volume down power button and wait until the pawn rebooted and quickly switch to volume up and here we go now we are in the recovery mode okay let's select the webcast data okay you can navigate using the volume button and then hit webcast partition using the power button okay select yes and then wipe the data of our factory reset okay press power again select factory reset and then after it finish we can boot into the android again okay okay then you can ignore the error message now just reboot system now by pressing the power button okay after this you need to wait a couple minutes until it boots into the android wizard okay so i will skip this one and let's continue when it boots into the android wizard and here we go now we are in the android wizard Okay, just hit next, next until it goes to the home screen. Okay, here we go. Now we are in the home screen. Usually, the first thing I want to do is I want to disable the automatic update. So let's go to the settings. <coughs> so for update and disable auto download over Wi Fi. Okay, because we don't want the pawn accidentally update Android. Okay, because it will remove the root access. Okay, I also want to disable the Play Store automatic update. Okay, guys, so it is important for you guys to connect to the internet after it goes to the home screen. Because usually after we update the Magis APK, it will require to restart the pawn. Okay, 
the problem is the Samsung phone need to take times to enable the OM unlock. Okay, so let's go to the settings and enable the developer options. Okay, we need to make sure that the OM unlock has been turned on. Okay, so you can see right here it's already turned on and become gray. So now it is safe for us to update the images. Okay, so I repeat it again. Need to connect to the internet and wait about one minute. Okay, then let's install some APK. I have copied several files right here. Uh, this is the Magis APK. Okay, just give it the permission. <clears throat> and I also want to install the root checker just for fun. Okay. And also the root explorer. Let's open again the mages. And now we have a working mages in our Galaxy A03. Okay, from here you can install module or activate the Zygis or hide the mages apps. Okay, let's open the root checker just for fun. Okay. It's granted. And your SMA 035F is rooted. Okay, let's open root explorer. Granted. And okay, here we go. <clears throat> so now we have a working root access using mages in our Galaxy A03. And I hope you like my video. If you find it very useful, please give it a thumb. And I also have a lot of video about routing, custom ROM, and lots of fun. Okay, especially Xiaomi, Samsung, Realme, Asus, and other stuff. Okay, uh, you can find in my video. Maybe some of the video will be useful for you. Okay, guys, if you subscribe, it will make me excited to make a new video and that's all stay self stay safe stay health and wassalamualaikum